You're a piece of the gods. I love myself. You feel me? I'm switching my intro up a little bit. I ain't gonna make it too long for people. A tune. A tune. Every day is never changing the opportunity. A tune. Israel. The tune is a like deity. We're in the bitter most definitely. Okay, in this video right here, I'm gonna be coming to y'all like this. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm switching my intro up, y'all. So I'm just gonna be just, just saying a tune. Every day is never changing the opportunity. You feel me? To Israel. To Israel. To Israel, like DT. We tapping in. Okay, in this video right here, I'm be coming to y'all like this to tell y'all that um, we all victims of sin. Don't y'all know that? We all victims of sin. You feel me? Because you got to understand this, bro. God said, I do all things. God said, I create good. And God said, I create evil. So God do all things. You feel me? He created cold weather. He created hot weather. But he want us to be lukewarm, right? In between. He want us to be neutralized. He don't want us to pick a side. Because the most high God is good and evil. He, he, he created the heavens. He created hell. He created earth. He created all this shit. You know, so the most high God is the devil. God is the devil. Separation is the illusion. You can't have good without evil. You can't have evil without good. Good is evil and evil is good. And that's where everything is backwards. You see women's walking around and they might be biological women, but psychologically and spiritually, they not in the wrong body. It just based on their astrological program design, based off the world that the woman that you see walking around simultaneously, right? Simultaneously, if I'm saying the word right, based off genetics being altered and based on people living in their unnatural environment, right? That is set in place on this earth. Everything is the opposite gender. Everything is the opposite. So you might see these women walking around biologically Right? Biologically women walking around, they really men. They really they really is a man. And then you see a lot of men walking around, they really is a woman. Just cause they might not have woman features, curves, dick hips and this and that and the third does not make them not a not a woman because they have the spirit of the woman. But you gotta understand that the Y um the Y chromosome, right? The, the Y chromosome or the XY is basically it's masculine. You know, I used to thought that, I mean, God is, God is, God is a consciousness, a spirit that most people have. God is not neural male or female. God is not a man or a woman, for real, to a certain degree. God is just a consciousness. You feel me? It's something that you gotta, it's something that is stored within you. Everybody's not chosen because everybody's not God. Everybody not chosen out of this world. Some people are programs or bots and NPCs that are meant to stay here. But you gotta understand that you know the Y, the X Y chromosome, the Y chromosome considered to be masculine, and the X and the X X chromosome considered to be feminine. But it's like everything just the opposite. So is science is science really true or science? Is just fiction. I don't know. But I'm telling y'all like this reflection is this. Is that um everything is the opposite. If you heterosexual, you going to nine times out of ten, you're gonna be attracted to the opposite sex. You feel me? Depend based on your sexual orientation and based on your sexual identity, which you classify as, based off your gender, if you're going by these labels, I don't go by these labels. I don't describe to these labels. I'm not attracted to the two genders and shit like that to the third. But like I'm telling y'all is this is that um we all victims of sin. You feel me? Like it's okay to, to judge people in a in a righteousness manner, but if you being too judgmental and not understanding the condition of why people that's that is in in this world, then you won't understand why. They, they, why is they committed a sin? Why is they sinning? Because we victims of the world. We didn't create a sin. And, and he, and he, well, 
and he while saying cast the first stone. So you gotta look at it like this. Whoever cast the first stone was the first person that sinned. We won't know what a sin was to somebody recognized what sin was when they committed a sin. So sin is universal. So we all gonna make mistakes. Even Jesus Christ made mistakes. Even Jesus Christ went against some of the commandments. And he supposed to be God. And then God, the most high God, he, 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 the most high God is a spirit and a consciousness. He conscious energy. The most high God will go into the flesh of the avatar body within anybody. It can be Caucasian. It can be black. It can be a Gentile, right? Or it can be a Jew or God chose people to church out of Israel. It can be anyone, anybody. He can go in the form of anything just to deliver the message. He would come in the flesh of anybody, which is man or woman, right? He would come in the flesh even within your children, right? The Most High God, he do all things. And through Christ, we can do all things through Christ. So the Most High God would go in the flesh within anybody to spark the light within them just to use their body or use their vessel, use their avatar to deliver the message. Does that mean that you're a prophet? No, because all the prophets that we had didn't really prophesy nothing because nothing has been fulfilled. But the Most High God, Yahweh, is the prophet because he created a prophecy. He created an earth plane. Everything is finite, affinity and beyond. You feel me? This world got a beginning and an end. He created it perfectly externally. He created this external world, which is a gift, which is a gift through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, right? Jesus Christ was a sacrifice. His vessel, his avatar was a sacrifice for us to repent so we can be forgiven for our sins through the transgression of the law. But the sin is created only by only for the sinner, the, the sin, who sin is here? The most high God sin is here. You feel me? I, 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 I don't believe in reincarnation, but I know what reincarnation actually is. Reincarnation is every day. It's not a such thing as reincarnation. It's going to happen at the end of your life cycle. Reincarnation is every day. Every day we portal every, a tomb. Every day is never chance, no opportunity. Every, every time we go to sleep, we die. You the dream, you you the dream and the dreamer. Once you establish that, you will understand that you got to create your own imagination. You got to create your own life cycle. You you are here to create your next life cycle. You are put here to create cr to create your next life cycle. You you being here, you don't got no purpose being here. It's it's really no purpose of being here because everything in the earth plane is going is experiencing reincarnation and death. So to break the illusion of reincarnation of death, reflections, don't be in love with the word, none of the things that's in it. I ain't going to say don't have love for it. And I ain't going to say don't have love for people. Don't be in love with the word, none of the things that's all in it. And the meat shall inherit the earth. So you got to be meek. You got to be humble. You got to be neutralized. You got to, you, uh, you can't choose nobody. You can't point the fingers. You missing the meshes. You ain't going to get your point across. You got to choose yourself. You is a victim of sin. That's what that's this video is basically about. We are victims of sin. Gentiles and, and non-Gentiles and God's chosen people and Jews as a whole, we are victims of sin. We didn't create a sin. The Most High God, Yahweh, created sin. He created his world. We all sit here through punishment because we try to be above the creator. We, you got to understand. We the we not the creator of the universe. We not the creators of the earth plane. We not no creators of of our reality. We as the creation lives in living inside God's body, inside God's temple. This is this body is God's temple, and we must connect it back to the source which it came from, which is nature. We is a part of nature, right? Everything that you see is a part of nature. Everything you see is a part of the universe. So since we God, so this body is God's temple and we are part of the universe and every person, whether it's a human, a deity, an animal, a plant, a tree, whatever you want to call it, is a part of nature. 
which is a part of the universe. So since we are part of the universe, we not the creator of the universe. You feel me? We don't truly exist. Only time we exist is when we connect back to source. That's the only time we exist, when we connect back to nature. The only time we really coexist, right? Only time we coexist is when we having sex. We not put here to live in harmony with, with each other till we connect back to source. So, is this our fault while we committed adultery? Is this our fault while we committed adultery? Is this our fault that we can, um, committed idolatry? We worshiping idols and false gods? You feel me? That it's not our fault. You feel me? We got, um, we is stiff neck people. It says in the Bible that we got a sniff neck. We hard headed. You feel me? But is, is this our fault for us being hard headed? No, because it doesn't matter how old you are, you still got these, these inner child. You still got that inner child within you. You still gonna be hard headed. You still gonna disobey. And you still need punishment. And because sometimes you still be disobedient. Sometimes you still don't follow direction. But the Bible is a manuscript. You feel me? It's a blueprint to get us back to the kingdom of God. So like I said, we all victims of sin. Jews, Jews, Israelites, and Gentiles all victims of sin. We didn't create a sin, because you got to understand. Sin, S-E-N-D. Who sent us here? The creator of the universe. The most high God sent us here. So since he sent us here, right, for our disobedience or our transgression of the law, right? And we experience a reincarnation and, the, and, and assimilation every day, right? And every day is another chance and opportunity, right, for us to get closer to the creator so, so we can be one with the with the universe so we can be one with the most high God, right? So we don't, so we create our next life cycle and create our own imagination and, and be in the kingdom of God because the kingdom of God is within you internally. The kingdom of God is not externally. You cannot see the kingdom of God externally. You only can see the kingdom of God internally within your own and what? Imagination. You feel me? All this is a human experience. This is punishment. You being tested, you being tempted. Every level is a new devil. So I'm letting y'all know this reflection. You feel me? Salam. Shalom. You feel me? I'm letting y'all know this. That um, yeah, it's just a human experience. So you're not human. You're more powerful than what you are, but you would never be above the creator because you the creation. He gives certain people certain powers and certain abilities to navigate through this matrix, navigate through space and time, but you are not the one. The devil is the one because the devil, the hands has been given, this word has been given to the hands of the wicked one. So we not truly are, we are the chosen ones that's chosen out of the world, but we are not the one. The one and the chosen one is two different people. The chosen one is the one that is chosen out of the world. The most high God, um, abducted you. He, his spirit. He put his. He put his spirit. He put his energy and his consciousness inside of you, and you had an upgrade, and you have a human, super, natural abilities. You got supernatural abilities to comprehend and understand things that most people don't understand. He give you super ability to see things that most people cannot see. The all knowing. You feel me? So. Like I'm saying, reflection is basically this, is that this ain't enough. It's not real. It's a holographic projection. You're the victim of sin because you didn't create a sin. And you're not no sinner. You feel me? Even if you know you're doing something that you're supposed to do, which is a sin, but you choose to do it anyway, it's still not your fault because you're a victim of it because you didn't create the drugs. You didn't create the GMO food. You know, you didn't create anything that you consuming. We don't, we are put here to build. 
We're not put here to create anything. Your body was created to build with one another, to build buildings, to build off, like, we, our bodies are created. Man body was created to build. Man, we produce life. Women sustain life. Women multiply what a man supposed to build. That just basically has set up in divine order. You feel me? By the most high God, the divine power. But like I'm telling y'all this is that um, we are all victims of sin. It's not our fault that we are committing sin. It's not our fault while we're going through what we're going through in life because we are victims of it. And I'm not saying um, just because we victims of sin that we must play um, play victim all the time and don't um, hold ourselves accountable for our actions. You're supposed to hold yourself accountable for what you do in life. You most definitely, but like I say, you're still a victim of it. You're still a victim of it because you never did create it. You see me? The sinner, the sinner created sinners. You feel me? The creator, the most high God created sinners. He is the sinner of the sinner. He, he sent us here in sin. The world is sin. Like I can explain to you right now before I close it out. You could be the most good person in the world. Even Jesus Christ himself was so-called said that he was perfect, right? He didn't even, he didn't keep all the commandments. Nobody in this world can keep all the commandments, right? Because this world was created in sin. You was born into sin, you know, through, through Adam and Eve. This world is sin. This world, it, it don't got nothing to do with Adam and Eve. It's just this world as a whole. The earth is a world that was created through sin. This this earth plane, this earth, this earth was a world that was created for sin. Everlasting life, immortality, the promised land of Israel, everlasting life, a salvation, a world without end with no beginning and no end, and we don't have to experience death or reincarnation or anything like that. That's what we're gonna be gifted at the end of this world, but we have to have faith and keep the commandments the best way we can, because that's how we love our, our God, right? That's how we love the most high God. Keep the commandments, that's how you love God. Just keep the commandments. Even if you slip up a couple of times, you got to repent. You got to repent, you know, and understand why you committed committed that sin and why you, you're trying your best through your heart and faith in the Most High God to not keep on committing that sin. But like I'm saying, we all is sinning every day because like I said, every time when you plug your phone up to an outlet, every time when you be on a cell phone, every time you plug your phone up into an outlet, every time you use gas, electricity, um, oil, um, every time when you go to the gas station pouring oil in your car, every time when you work in a job, it doesn't matter what you do, you could be the most righteousness, most peaceful person in the world. If you use if you utilizing money, or even if you paying for food, that still is a form of a sin. Everything is a sin in this world. So we all victims of sin because everything you do in this world is a sin. Even if you work in a job, even if you're not working a job, you still committing a sin. Even like, like I said, this world, a sin is something to be sinless. To live in a world without sin is to don't do nothing. It's to don't is to stop being something and to do nothing. To be nothing and to do nothing. It's to live in a world without sin. But that's the all all that's, but, but that's the first law, right? The, that's the first universal law. You feel me? A Detroit Universal Law. Divine oneness. Everything. You got to become everything. To be everything is to be nothing. You feel me? 
is to stop being something and to do nothing. We can't live in a world like that because this world was created based off sin. Something To be something and always doing something always going to lead you back to a sin. Because we want to live in harmony with each other, but us trying to live in harmony with each other and us naturally not dependent on each other for survival to live in harmony on the planet with each other is a form of a sin because we're going to always go against each other and keep on saying, oh, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you, I don't need you. And like, it, it's just crazy, man. Like, that's how I'm saying, man. This world is not real. Don't be in love with the world, none of the things that's in it. Shout out Juan. Yahama, Yahama Mashiach, Yahshua, Elohim, we're in the bed of most definitely. Israel, like.